Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Scholes. Today we have our final story from the Brothers Grimm, and I'd like to use it as an opportunity to make the point that not all Grimm tales are quite as dark as Ash Maiden, the version of Cinderella that we read on Wednesday. This story is very short, but it's, it's incredibly heartwarming, although it does start out kind of dark, I will admit. This is The Star Money. There was, once on a time, a little girl whose father and mother were dead. She was so poor that she no longer had any little room to live in or bed to sleep in. At last, she had nothing else but the clothes she was wearing and a little bit of bread in her hand, which some charitable soul had given her. She was, however, good and pious. And as she was thus forsaken by all the world, she went forth into the open country, trusting in the good God. Then a poor man met her, who said, Ah, give me something to eat, I'm so hungry. She reached him the whole piece of her bread, and said, May God bless you to your use, and went onward. Then came a child, who moaned, and said, My head is so cold. Give me something to cover it with. So she took off her hood and gave it to him. And when she had walked a little farther, she met another child who had no jacket and was frozen with cold. Then she gave it her own. A little farther on, one begged for a frock, and she gave away that also. At length, She got into a forest, and it had already become dark, and there came yet another child, and asked for a little shirt. The good little girl thought to herself, It is a dark night, and no one sees me. I can very well give my little shirt away. And took it off, and gave away that also. And so she stood, and had not one single thing left. Then, suddenly, Some stars from heaven fell down, and they were nothing else but hard, smooth pieces of money. And although she had just given her little shirt away, lo, she had a new one, which of the very finest linen. Then she gathered together the money into this, and was rich all the days of her life. And that is the star money. A short but sweet and heartwarming tale of a young child who gives away everything of herself to help others and is rewarded with money and, well, clothes so that she can take up the money and use it. And I love this story. Again, it's short and sweet. It goes so contrary to the fiction that the Brothers Grimm is just dark fairy tales. A lot of them have this kind of feel to them. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This is Dan Scholes for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Audible, anywhere that you like to listen to your podcasts, you can find us. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com. We'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Next week, we'll be back with three new tales. As always, thank you so much for listening.